In this question, we have two smooth spheres of masses m and 3m, speeds mu and v in opposite directions. Okay, smaller mass brought to rest. So set up your table. Our masses are the same. No, they're not. It's m and 3m, but they're in terms of m and before and after. So we have m and 3m and speed u and v in opposite directions smaller mass is brought to rest so that's the m so we have q well we can call it, we, have, we can call the second one we can call it q in the i direction for now anyway and we're asked to show the coefficient the restitution e is this guy okay let's have a look at what we can form here v1 minus v2 over u1 minus u2 is equal to minus e so we're going to get zero minus q over u minus minus v equals minus e and we're going to get into the formula m1 u1 plus m2 u2 equals m1 v1 plus m2 v2 so we're going to get m by u plus 3m by minus v equals m by 0 plus 3m by q so i suppose we can get both of these in terms of q and equate them that would eliminate q from the equations so down here we can say minus q is equal to minus e times u plus v so q is equal to e times u plus v over here we have well did i leave out my m here I write 3 instead of m. That's right, it should be an m here. m. So we divide by m. To start with, we're going to get u minus 3v is equal to 3q. So q is equal to u over 3 minus v. So we can now say that this guy is equal to this guy. And hopefully, we get back to what they want. So e times u plus v is equal to u over 3 minus v so we want e on its own so i multiply but well that's gonna it is gonna give it to me here u minus 3v but if i multiply or i'll put the right hand side over 3 first so that's v over 1 so it's going to be u minus 3v over 3 e times u plus v is equal to that so therefore if i multiply both sides by uh, divide both sides by u plus v i'm going to get e is equal to 3 on the bottom u minus 3v over 3 times u plus v so e is equal to u minus 3v over 3u plus 3v so we wanted u minus 3v over 3u plus 3v yeah and then show that u is greater than or equal to 3v so e what do we know about e e has to be greater than or equal to it can't be it has to, it can't be less than zero so e has to be greater than or equal to zero so therefore the top u minus Of u minus 3v if that's greater than or equal to zero we could say u is greater than or equal to 3v so u greater than or equal to 3v that's what they were looking for i think that's the solution to this one question 14 we have three spheres mass one two and three moving in the same line with the velocities five one and three smaller masses are the first to collide that's the one and the two if only one collision takes place find the max value for the coefficient of restitution between the smaller masses okay so let's look at the five and the one or the one and the two and then obviously this speed of three they're not going to be able to catch them so if we have our masses of one and two and they're traveling with speeds five i and one i you want to put your one in and we don't know what's happening afterwards and we need to look at the coefficient of restitution or the max value of it 
so that there is only one collision. So before and after, let's call this PI and QI. So V1 minus V2 over U1 minus U2 is equal to minus E. So let's see where this takes us. We're going to get P minus Q over 5 minus 1 equals minus E. So P minus Q has to be equal to 4 minus 4 times E. So looking at conservation momentum, M1 U1 plus M2 U2 equals M1 V1 plus M2 V2. We're going to get 1 times 5 plus 2 times 1 is equal to 1P plus 2Q. So P plus 2Q has to be equal to 5 and 2, 7. So we can get two values for P here, can't we? If P minus Q, when we say that P is equal to seven minus two Q, down here we can say P is equal to minus 40 plus Q, Q minus 40. Will that help us? Therefore, seven minus two Q is equal to Q minus four E. So four E, would have to be equal to q minus seven it looks like here that would be my three q and three three q q plus two q three q minus seven so we have a value for e three q minus seven over four so why is that going to help us e is three q minus seven over four well, it was that the last thing we said was that speed there. It has to be less than or equal to three, doesn't it? So if it's less, well, less than or equal to, let's say Q has to be less than or equal to three for it not to collide. They're going the same speed if they're, they're obviously not going to collide if they're going the same speed. So E could be, can Q can't be greater than three. So we can put three in for Q. So E is going to be nine minus seven, two over four max value for e 1 over 2